I use the Chemapure Elite and uh, Nuvo 16 and you know a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry-free system because of the Chemapure. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. We're at MACNA 2015 in Washington, D.C. And I, I tell you, Patrick is here with Ecotech Marine and there is a return pump. You don't think you need a new return pump until you see what's available on the market. Patrick, if you would, just kind of give me the broad overview from 20,000 feet. So the Vector Return Pump is our new product that we're introducing for this year. And uh, we have two models. We have the M1 and L1. And the cool thing about the Vectra is not only it's super quiet, it's super efficient, it's super easy to set up, but it's got new functionality that you'll never see on any other return pump on the market. Um, this pump can be calibrated to maximum and minimum speeds. If there's an issue or the pump shuts off, it will send you a notice right to your mobile device that, hey, there's something wrong with your pump. You might want to go check that out. So it's, tacked, it's packed with technology. So the Vector return pump, it's, we're really proud of it, and you should come check it out uh, at your local store. So we're here demonstrating the new Vector return pump. We have two models, the Vectra M1 and the L1. The M1 moves 2,000 gallons per hour, and that can move that water as a return pump or as a closed loop pump. The L1 does about 3,100 gallons per hour. And uh, you can see here on this red sea tank, we've got the L1 here plumbed in return pump mode, and this is an internal or external pump. Here we have it plumbed internally. Now, the Vectra pump is completely controllable and it is powered by the quiet drive driver, which means that even running externally, the total increase in ambient noise is going to be half a decibel. So, this thing is essentially dead silent. So, our Vectra pump has a lot of features that you won't find on any other pump in the market. Specifically, we calibrate our pumps to a minimum speed and a maximum speed and then allow you to use that functionality for other different ways in the aquarium, such as feed mode or creating a storm surge that will not only vo coordinate with your Vortec pumps, but also introduce a lot of the detritus from the tank into your sump and to your skimmer at a certain time during the day. So let me show you the minimum flow mode and we achieve this through a calibration. And that calibration be, can be done through our iPhone app, Android app, or website. But this is a unique feature which essentially takes the return and turns the flow down to just a trickle. And now the real benefit to having such a small amount of flow running through your sump is that one, you're not shutting your return pump off. And so when you do kick your pump back on to full speed or your actual speed, you're not introducing bubbles into the aquarium. Secondly, you are not introducing food into your skimmer when you're feeding. So when you hit feed mode, it'll automatically come down to a trickle and that coral food that you want so badly to feed to your polyps and, and uh, uh, your, your soft and hard corals and the fish food is staying in the tank for as long as you want it to. It's not um, getting caught up in your filter sock. It's not getting caught up in your filter sock, exactly. When you exit feed mode, we're going to slowly return. You can keep an eye up on that, on that nozzle up there. And as we turn it on, you can see it kicks right back on. No bubbles introduced into the system. So that's one of the benefits that the Vector return pump can offer an aquarist. Now, another cool thing is you can actually go into feed mode right from your Apple Watch or from your, uh, your Android or iPhone device. With the Vector return pump, we can enter right into live demo control here and turn the pump all the way to full speed, and that's a calibrated speed, or to a minimum speed, and that's going to keep you into a, a feed mode in your aquarium. So if we go right back and just throw this, this tank into feed mode, what that's going to do is it's going to turn the return pump down and the flow all the way down to a minimal level. And you can see barely a trickle here, and that, that flow setting is calibrated through the Vectra pump, either through the iPhone or through the quiet drive. And why that's important is that it's going to make sure that you're not introducing bubbles into your system when you kick the pump back on. 
and when you're feeding the tank, the food's gonna stay in the display where it needs to be. It's not gonna get stuck in your filter sock and it's not gonna get pulled down to your skimmer. Because we're keeping your pump on, you don't have to have a, uh, a valve that's going to, to stop a back siphon. And you're also gonna maintain the water level in your sump so it's not going to change the level where your skimmer's operating. So you're not going to have all of a sudden flood your skimmer comp with a bunch of water. So Patrick, when will this be available for consumers? Well, the M1 is already available and the L1 will be shipping this week. So the, uh, they're available through your local retailer or through a website online. You want to hazard a retail cost on this? Yes, so the M1 is introduced at $349, and that pump moves 2,000 gallons per hour. The L1 is $449, and that moves 3,100 gallons per hour. But overall, what I see here is a pump that not, not only is quiet, not only is energy efficient, but it's introducing some functionality that we've never really looked for in a return pump before. Yeah, the Vectra has some, we put a lot of thought into the development and design of not only the pump itself, but also the software controlling it. And that software offers a lot of innovations, including pump calibration and setting it up so that you can move nutrients at the time that you want to. There's even a battery backup feature. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with the new product. That's all, that's all for this FinCast. Thanks for tuning in. This is John Carlin. Uh, once again, we're at MACNA 2015 in Washington, D.C., and I'll see you in the next FinCast.